Hey YouTube, Opinionative Review here, bringing you guys my top 10 notification center widgets. Yes, top 10 notification center widgets. Now, please bear in mind that these are not in the default repos. You're going to have to add two repos to get these, and they're also in beta, so use with caution and use at your own risk. Most of them work perfectly, especially BB settings, which is my number one, and I save the best for last. If you want to get an in-depth like video on each thing that I mentioned, just visit the link in the description and you can watch an in-depth video on each widget that I mentioned. I can't cover each of them fully. So yeah, without further ado, let's jump into this video. Roll the next clip, Steven. If you don't know how to enable notification center widgets, just watch my previous video and it's going to show you. So let's just jump right into it. The first one, which is, it's not actually on the top 10s. So this is actually a bonus, and I'm showing you guys this one first because I'm going from 10 to 1. I want to save the best for last. So this is a bonus one, and it, this is one of my favorites. It's my second favorite notification center widget, and it's called Pinned Nayan. Yes, it's, the, it's of the Nayan cat, and it's awesome in my opinion. It doesn't do anything but sit there and run, but if you go ahead and you tap it, <laughs> so yeah, that's basically what this is. It's just for fun. And I as you guys know, I love the Nan Cat. You can see it right there for my Nan sliders. I have that. And that's what this one did. Once again, this is a bonus one. This is not on the top tens list. That's just a bonus. So let's move on to the next one. So number 10, at number 10 is Quick Note. This one is called Quick Note. Basically what it allows you to do is just type a quick note here, like a quick reminder or something. So if you want to, because you're, you're always going to be in Notification Center. So if you want to check out, uh, pick up the kids. Pick up the kids. And you hit Done. It's going to always be there every time you pull down and you visit Notification Center. So you'll be able to see this, which is pick up the kids. And that's basically what it allows you to do. Nothing fancy. It's just to put a quick reminder there in case you don't want to use the reminder app and you just want something there. Let's move on to the next one. At number nine, we have We Translate. This one is basically just a quick translator. So let me just go ahead and type something in here. And let me just go and type in hi. So if I want to know what's high in Italian, I type in high, and then I press translate, and then it gives me that. Cio, don't kill me if I'm pronouncing it wrong. I'm I don't know Italian. So if you want to change the language, you could just go ahead and tap the little flag on this side. It's so tiny, it's hard to tap. So you just tap the little flag on that side to change it. If you want to go ahead and and, and change the flag. So as you can see, it says hola now. And I think you could tap the one up top as well. Yeah, and you could change it. So that's basically what this one allows you to do. It's just a quick translator inside your notification center. Let's move on to number eight. So at number eight, we have Slide Center. This one is basically like a slideshow of the pictures you have inside your Photos app. And it just switches through the pictures, those pictures right there. This, it's just a slideshow. Now, if you like you have your kids, your wife, you want to put them there, and they'll be displayed. So every time you pull down the notification center, you'll see the slideshow of those pictures. Not much to it. It's pretty cool, especially if you're a photos lover. You'll like this one. Let's move on to number seven. Number seven is called Power Center. So yeah, this one is called Power Center. It basically just adds respring reboot power off and you could see you have to slide so you're going to slide to respring you touch here you're going to go slide to reboot you touch there you're going to go slide to power off and that's basically what it allows you to do it just allows you to incorporate those three things right there so if you don't want a whole bunch of things that that sb sentence has to offer you could just put this for three simple things so yeah that's it plain and simple not much to it let's move on to number six so for number six we have music center and this one is pretty cool this one basically incorporates like your music right here inside the music center so I'm just gonna go ahead over here and click play and let me turn this down for copyright reasons and my music is actually playing, so I'm going to scroll over and you can see the artwork right here. So I'm playing uh, Don't Go by Mula Guap. He's actually from the British Virgin Islands. You probably don't know him. <laughs> and so I'm going to skip a song. 
and then switch over you see it switches to another song you can also change the volume but I recommend using the vol the uh, buttons because uh, that just it doesn't work really. it's hard to do since it slides and you can also launch your music your iPod app from right here as well so that's basically what this one allows you to do it allows you to access your music from right here switch it stop it pause skip song and you can open up the music app and also see the artwork and all that good stuff you can also donate to the dev if you want to so yeah so coming in at number five we have UI settings it's SB settings like but it doesn't has as much toggles and support as SB settings as you can see you have your major toggles right here for this one you can go ahead respring reboot power off and such like that when this first came out they said it was gonna replace SB settings but SB settings was updated to support iOS 5 and gave this a kick in the butt take that UI settings Booyah! <laughs> but yeah, this one is called UI settings. It's, you can see this is all it does. And bear in mind that most of these in the top five, they might seem a little redundant. Uh, most of them do uh, the similar or the same things. Some just have edge over some. So it's going to be a matter of, of preference which one you want the most. Let's move on to number four. So coming in at number four, we have a Wii Stats Widget. And this one basically just gives you the stats of your iPod Touch. So as you can see, I have 102 megabytes free out of 256 uh, RAM. I have 5.6 gigs free on this 8 gig iPod Touch. I have one app running in the background, which is my settings app. Now I'm going to scroll over. You can see this is where you see your internet info. So if I had Wi-Fi enabled, which I have it disabled, I would see my Wi-Fi IP address, my external IP address, and if this was a phone I had 3G or whatever, I would see the IP address for that as well. And you have your SSID. Scroll over. We have a, a whole ton of info. Again, you have the iOS 5.0, the build. You have your iPod Touch resolution and more stuff. And scroll over now and here you can see this is the, the dev's Twitter account. You can go ahead and follow him on Twitter if you want to. And last but not least, we have respring, shutdown, brightness, and we have kill the apps in the background. So this here kills the apps in the background. And that's basically it for this one. This one is called We Stat Widget. And now we're going to move on to number three. So coming in at number three, we have, we have SB settings. Yes, SB settings that was updated to support iOS 5. So as you can see, this is SB settings. If I want to drop down the window, because I know I have it disabled right now, so if I swipe there, it's not going to come down. If I want to drop it down, I could just go ahead and touch that. It will drop down. So yeah, it had this has a ton of features. It, it's the SB settings. You all know it just got revamped, and I think a little bit more was added. I'm gonna have a, a link in the description where you guys can check out a video to give you an in-depth run through of the new SB settings. I don't have time for that now, but yes, it's SB settings. You can also put more toggles and all that stuff. Just check out the link in the description to get. Uh, a video of basically almost all all the uh, tweaks if I find a video on almost all the widgets uh, I'll be put a video there so yeah let's move on to number two so coming in at number two we have Omnistat this one is another one that gives you information on your device but this one does a lot more as well this one is awesome so you have your name of your this one give this uh, slide gives you information on your device uh, the storage what's free uh, what's being used the OS, uh, the build, the iPod, it's an iPod, and the name of the device. If you tap this, this Wi-Fi looking, you can enable Wi-Fi, you can disable Bluetooth, stuff like that. Let me go ahead and disable Wi-Fi. So you can also click the power button, you can reboot, shut down, respring. And this last one just gives you informa information for the, the developer, his Twitter, donate, etc. So you scroll over now, you can see you have... A battery percentage you have the host of local you have this is Wi-Fi info again I, I have Wi-Fi disabled so you're not gonna see that you have Mac address so now I'm gonna scroll over you see battery percentage unplugged so I'm gonna scroll over and you can see information on your RAM so this is your RAM info your active your inactive free and wired so scroll over again you have tons more settings I don't even know what half of these stuff are so I'm not gonna even go and try to explain them uh, you can also you have your UI UDID this would have definitely come in handy for well, before iOS 5 was released you could have copied your UDID from there so I'm gonna scroll over again and that looks like it was the last slide so yeah you can see this one has a ton of information it's 
similar to WeStat, but it has more. So yes, you see what I told you got some of them are a bit redundant because they some of a lot of them do the same thing. But it's a matter of preference which one you want. And oh, they are all free. They are all free, so you can check them out. Or oh, at the moment, they're free while they're in the beta stages. So let's move on to number one. Yes, number Coming one. Coming in at number one, we have BB Settings, and this one is the king of all notification center widgets. I crown this one king. There's no other notification center widget at the moment that tops this one right here so let's just jump right into it and I'm just gonna be scratching the surface of everything so first the first part which is the little star you have your favorite apps you can set however much you want your favorite apps and you can access them from anywhere you wanna launch it you just tap it it launch them I'm gonna show you guys how to set those as well move over to the second tab we have the apps that are running in the background so you see it tells you the name so you're running apps this tab is just showing you the apps that are running in the background you could also tap there and launch the apps as well so now we're gonna move over to the next one and this one is memory uses but this one has a ton of different options that are probably the option that I just showed you for Omnistat this one also has it that's why I told you this is the king of all notification center widget you can see your operating system battery level info on it you can see your disk space scroll over you see your RAM memory usage and you have your CPU usage your Wi-Fi IP all of that good stuff this has it you see carrier I mean this thing just has a ton of settings and, this, and we're not even over on the last one as yet. You can see your process, your total process. You can go ahead and refresh it. And this one, move over. And yeah, that's basically it for this tab. We have one or one or two more tabs to go through. So let me just move over to this next tab. And over here, you have toggles. So if I had 3G, I could go ahead and turn on and off 3G. Lock rotation, uh, speaker muted airplane mode Wi-Fi kill the apps in the background I could kill them this one is for respring brightness I could go ahead and tap that it's just a ton of settings there's no scroll but that's all right there so I'm gonna go over to the last one where you can turn up and down the volume and the brightness and if you tap this Wi-Fi thing right here you can change your carrier option it doesn't work at the moment I don't know I didn't I don't know if you have the respin but when I change it it didn't work you guys probably could test it out and here is where you set your favorite app so if I tap that I can go ahead and uh, add more apps to my favorite apps whatever I want to and then just hit done no respin needed so when I go back over to my favorite apps tab you can see all those apps that I just set are right there. So that's why I'm telling you, you can put how many apps you want. And that's basically it. That's basically it. That's my top 10 notification center widget video. Please remember, most of these are in the beta stages. So use at your own risk. If you want to see a video of each individual notification center widget that I mentioned, you can check out the link in the description. And you could get an in-depth view of all of them. I couldn't cover all of them because obviously uh, I, it, it will make the video too long and the video is already lengthy. So yeah, guys, top 10 notification center widgets. BB settings is number one. Pinned Nayan was my favorite, uh, my second favorite of all of them. And yeah, with that being said, please rate, comment, subscribe. Have a nice day.